Hey, how's it going, guys? Ben here again, and I remember that I forgot to add a couple things to this boat. I'm really sorry for that, but you're just going to have to tune into this part. If you don't want to watch the rest of this video, that's fine, but I'm just going to show you a couple things that you can add to your boat. So, your boat's going to need to have a way to steer, so that's called a rudder, and those are used to turn a boat. So just draw kind of circular shape and connect it to the captain's quarters. And you can shade that. Okay. And soften up a couple of these lines. Also, another thing I forgot was some flags. And those are pretty cool if you want to add them. They're not necessary. That was my dog again. I, I'm sorry for that problem. I'll get it sorted out. <laughs> okay, so that's just a flag. Go ahead and shade that up. Okay, and you can add one more flag on the top. And sailors use these to judge where the wind is going. So let's go ahead and draw a wavy type shape. And that is a good flag. Okay, now let's get moving on our next ship. Now the next boat I'm going to make is going to be a steamboat. And this is something I'm going to try out. I don't have this planned, so if I make a mistake, uh, you're just going to have to live with it. Okay, so these boats are pretty small. I mean, they can be big too, actually. But this is going to be like a little tugboat, maybe. So, I'm just going to do two decks. Starting at the margin and going down in a diagonal line. Now, using your straight edge, you're going to draw a lower oh. line along it. Okay. Hold on. I'm just going to take care of my dog for one second. Sorry about that. Okay. Okay. So now let's continue the book. I'm going to do a diagonal line up this way. And this is where we're going to fit the rudder. Yes, I remember the rudder this time. Okay. Bring this up. And this is the base of your boat. Go ahead and copy this down while you press pause. Okay. Now that you've copied that down, you're going to want to draw the decks. So the upper deck is going to be like this, along this line. And the lower deck is going to be like this, along this line. Now, down here is going to be storage. Here is going to be the bunks. And then we'll have maybe a watch deck and the captain's quarters. Now, since this is a steamboat, it's more straight, as you notice. And also, we might want to add some boiler rooms into this cargo. So we'll have two boilers or steam things or whatever they're called and then we'll have a couple boxes so go ahead and draw some things furnaces and some little things coming off of them makes them look nice so you can shade these and do another one right next to it. So for these, you're going to want to do a nice round shape. And then going up into a straight pipe. Now you can use your straight edge for the pipe, but it's a really small line, so it doesn't need to be done. And these are kind of like, have you ever seen in trains, those like shoveling the coal in? 
Well, that's how these steamboats work as well. Okay. So try to make them look identical. I know these aren't totally identical, but it'll do. Now I'm going to add some cargo. Okay. Last video, I didn't shade the cargo. I'm going to do that this time. Shading the cargo is really easy. It's just like shading regular stuff. Darker at the bottom, lighter at the top. And this one too. Okay, now a ladder. And you can use your straight edge for this if you want. I'm just going to be lazy and not. And that's going to go straight up. Do some rungs. And that's going to lead us to our next deck. We'll do the shading after all of this. Okay, so for our next deck, we're going to have a couple of places for the crew to sleep. Now this, some of our boats, I'll make them where they have places for actual passengers, but this is just for the crew. This is like a voyage boat. So adding in some bunks. And this one's actually going to have a bathroom, so... Shade this area in, really dark. That's just empty space. I'm not gonna take advantage of that space by doing anything, because it's gonna be really bad. And now, for the bathroom. These are pretty intricate, so. These are pretty intricate. No! No whining. Sorry about that. These are pretty intricate, so you can have sink here. Little faucet things. And these guys have shower baths. There's no toilet because the toilet is off the side. <laughs> I just can't fit a toilet, that's why I'm saying. I gotta pull off the side. Okay, so shower. And, I mean, if you want, you could put a toilet right here. Like, because you know in boats how the, the toilets don't really have a back. They're kind of just like pots. And then it goes down, piping into the room, whatever. Okay, so that's your bathroom. You can shade that in if you want. And now we're going to do a place for the crew. So the crew, it's going to be a pretty simple place. Oh yeah, don't forget to make this a door. It's going to be pretty simple for the crew. Just a bunk. Okay, this time I'll actually make the bunk beds, bunk beds instead of just a bed. Okay, and then go ahead and add a door for your two crew members. Now up here, it's just some empty space. If you want, you can put maybe like, I don't know, in more modern boats, they have like ice machines, stuff. You can do that on your own boat. I'm just going to leave it empty for you. Give you some ideas. Okay. So we got this. Just continue the slider all the way up. So we got a rickety ladder going to the top. And let's work on some shading here until we get to the top deck. So just shade this area in. I'm going nice and slow on these tutorials. Well, I hope so. So you guys can follow along. I don't want to speed through too fast. Otherwise, it'll be a pain. You'll, you'll have to keep pausing and then yeah. <laughs> I'll give you a little bit of time to copy some of this down. Okay. So, you paused the video and copied this all the way to this point. Go ahead and work on shading these areas. 
Now, this video might be kind of long, and I apologize for that, but, you know, we really need to get this boat going. You know, some of the time, mm -hmm. it's just going to be slow. You're going to have to go through the whole video. You can do whatever you want. But, yeah. And uh, I'm sorry. This is pretty bad commentary because I'm thinking so much about this. I never really designed this boat earlier, as I may have told you. And this is a totally new model to me. So, now, more modern boats have, like, bar, deck, things. You know, I should be using my straight edge for this. Okay, pull that over there. Now here, you're going to wonder... Why is he drawing a wall there? Well, it's for the captain's area. And use your straight edge for this. Kids, don't get into the bad had habits I have. Okay. So there's your upper area. Okay. Now just draw a couple bars, because this is a railing after all. And shade that. Okay, the thing with all the shading is really because it's going to help. I mean, if this weren't shaded, this would look really ugly. Shading makes up for bad penmanship, or pencilmanship, or whatever. And I will tell you, I'm not terrible with a pencil, but I could be much better. Shading makes it look way better. Okay, so now your captain... There's going to be a door here, and a door out back. The captain is going to have place for steering, and a place for him to sleep. Now this captain, he's a very welcoming captain. He doesn't care if people walk through his room. And they all share the same bathroom, even the captain. They're very nice people. <laughs> That's just because I can't fit a bathroom. Okay. So, now with this. Um, any recommendations for my next boat will be greatly appreciated. And hope you enjoyed this. It's almost done. Almost done. You got your boat here. And finishing touch. These don't have masts. Well, some of them might, but this one doesn't. You've seen this. If you haven't, you're living in a cave. These. Steam. Inspiration. That makes it a steamboat. And, of course, the rudder, just so I don't forget. Sorry for the phone. Yellow. Is that going to stop? Okay. <sighs> okay. Sorry about that. So, there's your boat. And, wait... Wait. USA. USA. Whatever country you are in, go ahead and draw your country flag. I live in the US. And that's our flag. Kind of. <laughs> okay. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.